There is a pop-up supper club in Nashville that brings guest chefs from around the region for a fun and delicious food adventure. Vivek Surti started it all, and he is here now with a recipe from this weekend's meal. Good to have that's you right. with us today, yeah. and this one just says summer. Yeah, that's uh -huh. right. Thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about the supper club in a moment, but tell me about the, this great uh, watermelon recipe and my mom just loves a uh, yellow watermelon. Yeah, this is a, you know, this is a great summer recipe that is really easy to make. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require any cooking at all, and you can put it together in just a couple of minutes. L love those kinds of recipes. Really all right, yeah. go ahead and get it started. So we'll get it started. So first we're going to make the dressing. Um, so we have rice wine vinegar and olive oil here. Okay. So you can just dump them in the bowl and uh, kind of mix them together. And you could use any vinegar that you wanted or any acid. So if you liked white wine vinegar, mm -hmm. red wine vinegar, sherry vinegar, if you like lime juice, lemon juice, yeah. or a combination thereof. Okay, uh, cool. And we're using olive oil here, but you could use canola oil or grapeseed oil, whichever one you wanted to use. It's pretty, you know, but the ratio we want to keep it so that way it's two parts olive oil mm -hmm. to one part vinegar. Okay, all right, good. Then we have um, our summer melons here. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, yellow and red watermelon, but you could just as easily add honeydew melon or cantaloupe whatever you wanted to add. Okay, alrighty. Just go to the farmer's market, get a, get a couple of different types, and we'll put it here into the bowl. All right. All right. And then we just have some uh, really refreshing cucumber uh, that we've peeled and diced. We'll put that in. All right. And then you can switch to the spoon. Okay. Might make it a little easier. All right. And then you toss it together, and then this you can keep, you could make this almost a day in advance if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you were going to a barbecue on yeah. Saturday, you should, you could just keep it just like this, um, and then have it ready to go. Oh, right, good, because it would be nice and chilled at that point if we did it a day Exactly. Again. Okay. Yeah. Um, so once we have that ready to go, we can almost start plating it. All right. Yeah. And we have a finished version here, uh, but what we've done is we've basically taken this mixture of the melons and the cucumber, put it on the plate. Um, and then we garnished with just a little bit of sliced fennel, uh, which adds a really nice crunchy element, mm -hmm. um, as well as toasted pistachios, um, rice powder, and mint. All right. So now, are you can buy these, or are you, are you toasting? I'm, I'm assuming you're toasting them, but Correct, yeah. can you buy them toasted already? Uh, yes, I think okay. you can buy them roasted and salted okay. if you wanted to, yeah. And then what was the other items here that um, we've got? Rice powder. Now tell me a mint. bit more about the rice powder. Yeah. So the rice powder, what we've done is, there's this really great farmer out of Mississippi yeah. that makes basmati rice mm -hmm. in Mississippi. Um, so basmati is a rice that we use a lot in India. Okay. Um, and so it's unusual to see it in Mississippi, but they're making a really great product. So what we've done is we toasted it in a dry pan for about 10, 15 minutes until it became almost a caramel color and then grinded it down into a powder. Oh, awesome. So the rice is in, you know, very aromatic okay. um, when you smell it. Good, uh, but it also good. adds just a great texture to the dish. Now, you're so here yeah. because of the Supper Club now. The one Correct. for this weekend is, is already booked. Right. But tell me about the Supper Club and when the next one is happening. Absolutely. Um, Vea Supper Club was something that we started almost six years ago. Uh, it was six years back in May. And the idea was to provide unique, fun, and delicious experiences for people of Nashville. Um, so we've, been, we've done over 50 Supper Clubs uh, over the past six years, and we wow. do about 10 a year. Uh -huh. um, so the one that we have this weekend is really special. We're bringing down some friends of mine uh, from Mississippi, Vishbot from Snack Bar, and Rebecca Tertian from City House. Okay. Um, we also have our good friends, Blackberry Farm Brewery, who are doing the beer pairings. Um, they just come out with a great new canning line. Uh, awesome. which we're really excited about and had some great, um, you know, local farmers that are involved in the dinner. Good. So the yep. one for this weekend is booked, but there is another one that will take place in September. You can yep. get the information about that on our website at newschannel5.com. As always, thank you very yep. much for being with thank us today. Thank you so much for having us. And also you can go find out about uh, future supper clubs at veasupperclub.com slash events.